Hello everybody, I am through here the fun, and um, I want to bring back the Sunblog. Um, the Sunblog was not a very big success, because because when I tried telling a really good point and a really inspiring thing, it came out wrong, it wasn't very, it's just inspiring, so I'm going to redo the Sunblog, and hopefully this will be the new and improved Sunblog. And I hope it will stay. Anyways, along with enough of that intro about what the Sunblog's going on about, let's get into the actual Sunblog. So, as a kid, living with my parents, my parents had mixed emotions about me. Um, sometimes they would say, Adam, we just want the best for you. We want to see you succeed. Other times, my parents would be like, Adam, we expect you to be homeless, eating out of the homeless shelter, in the, out of the food bank or whatever, and we don't really see you succeeding in life. We, we, we wish you would, but, you know, with these mental issues, and they literally said the R word, they're like, with these mental issues and you being retarded, we don't really see you going far. I'm not joking, they said the R word, but... And that kind of hurts, you know, and this is your own parents. Your own parents l look at you one day and just go, you were dishonored. You're a dishonor, you know, something like that. You know, just like, your parents don't even tr trust that you can do well. They, they, but your parents mold you. And it's like your parents, like, you're like a clay pot. They build the clay pot, like, oh, this clay pot's gonna look great. They build it, and it's like, actually, you know what? Um, let's just try selling this. I don't think this will sell, but let's try selling this on the shelf. See what it'll shell. I doubt it will. I, I'll sell it for cheap. Don't worry. And that really hurts. Um, I actually went to the doctor's office, and I'm, this is, I swear to God, this is exactly what the doctor did. We, we went to um, the doctor's office, and, and we said, we want to drop the medication because I can't afford it because I'm working a low-paid job at McDonald's. And the doctor, I'm not joking again, I'm not joking, I'm not overemphasizing, I'm not underemphasizing, right in the middle, right exactly how he did it. He was like, Ugh. One second, one second. Okay. Ma'am. Are you aware of why most homeless people are homeless? It's not because they don't have enough money. It's because they got some mental issues. And your son has those mental issues. A borderline personality. And I think he needs more medication. I'm thinking ahead. No, I don't have borderline personality. And he's, he's writing a prescription. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, should I, should I not, should I, should I, should I, should I not? Oh. If I do, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make them think that I do. That I do have a per borderline personality. If I don't, then what am I? What am I as a person? So I stood up and I'm like, no, don't write me this prescription. Um, I will not take that. And you know what, mom? I'm moving out tonight. Um, so I'm gonna pack my stuff and we're moving. And that's what I did. And I, my, why did I do that? Because I want to prove them wrong. I wanted to show them that I am a human, and humans do not take bull from other animals. Humans are here today for one reason, and that is because humans were genetically built to succeed. All right? It may sound weird, people may say, no, Adam, humans can't control time and space. How would they know if they're gonna succeed or not? That's the, pro that's the thing. Humans are like, humans are like Swiss Army knives of the human, humans, um, of the animals, animal thingamajiggers, I don't know how to say it. The thing is, humans have one thing that no other animals have, and that is the ability to sit down and just go, something needs to change. What am I doing wrong? What did I do? And what should I have done? Uh, this example, let's take a giraffe, okay? we I think giraffes are hilarious for this example. Let's say you had a giraffe, and he knew the English language, and he could think like a human. And he had a job at, let's say, Burger King. And, um, he would call, a manager called up one day and be like, Hey, giraffe. And he'd be like, Hey, manager. And he'd be like, Hey, can you work today at five? Oh, sure, I'll be there. And giraffe works every day. He's not making so much money. And he spends his, his money on food and, Oh, look at this new cell phone, you know. This cell phone looks pretty cool. I'm going to buy this cell phone. And at the end of the month, giraffe looks at his bank account and goes, Huh. Now I don't have enough money to pay my rent. Now, why did that happen? Um, and that's the thing. He would think, why did that happen? Where did the money go? What is going on? Where did it go? Where is it? That, and 
Human, if Human looked at the bank account, he would go, What happened? What did I spend too much money on? Was it the burgers, the cell phones? Maybe next month, maybe I should, first of all, I gotta get the money. Maybe I can do it by doing this or doing that. Next month, maybe I shouldn't do this and maybe I shouldn't do that. A giraffe would look at it and go, I don't know what's going on, man. I just do not understand. He's like a stoner. He's like, man, I don't know what's going on. And that's the thing. You need to sit down. And when you, something's going wrong. You, you shouldn't blame other people. You should just sit down for a second and think, what did I do wrong? How can I fix it? And people say that all the time. And, and I don't know. Um, I, don't, I usually ignore it, but it, it's actually quite helpful. Just sit down. You know, maybe sit in the, that corner over there. Or, you know, maybe you don't like that corner, sit over that corner. Um, just any corner, maybe, you know, you don't want a corner, maybe you want to sit on a chair. There's a chair right here, chair right there. Go ahead and sit on that corner, that chair. You know, you can't sit in a chair because it's dark, because I'm trying to save energy. Because last month, I found my energy was built up, was up a little bit. So what I did is I not, I didn't spend so much energy. So what I'm doing is I'm turning down the lights. I'm turning off the lights, and I'm just used, relying on my computer, computer light. Um, but that's the thing. Humans are built... To survive, to, to survive, they are built to succeed. Let's say, example, you have a gun. Let's have a gun. And you shoot it up in the air in a field of cows. A field of cow. When a cow, when a cow hears a gunshot, a cow will run. But it will run in circles, or it will just run any direction it, it, it's closest, it's like facing, whatever. And that's the thing. Cows don't think about what they could do. They don't, they just do it. A human, if you were to go in a crowd of humans, go to a mall and just shoot a gun there, humans would run too. But they would run, and maybe they'd break down a door and be like, Look, I'm sorry I put your door, I'll pay you later, let me just hide in your corner. Or maybe they'd go, keep running, maybe take a left here for, 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 for uh, inconsistency, maybe take a right there, just keep running, until they hear birds singing. Birds going, tweet, 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 there's no guns here, tweet, tweet, tweet. You know? A cow would run any direction, and and hopefully he would he, he's not being followed or hopefully he's not just running into an obvious area or not running at all that's the thing humans again i, I keep saying this thing and i'm gonna say it again humans are built to succeed that's the reason why humans succeeded a caveman it was like it's cold out here hey why don't we build a fire you know we, we have invented fire. I'm not, they, they, I'm not saying they have... I'm, I'm doing this after they invented it. They, it's cold here. Jeez, it's really cold. Maybe start a fire. Ch -ch -ch -ch. A mammoth, He if mammoth was cold, he'd walk around going, oh, maybe I'll keep walking. Maybe eventually it'll get warmer. Oh. And like, it's humans um, adapt. Humans, and I'm going to say this one more time, humans are built to survive Humans are built to succeed. You will succeed. It is in your blood. It is in your genes. You will not um, ever um, not succeed. Uh, I didn't know how else to explain it. You, if you keep trying, if you don't, I don't know, cut yourself or shoot yourself or, if, I don't know, that's too d dark. If you don't just give up, if you just don't, if you don't decide not to just sit down and just be like, you know what, I'm just going to sit in this chair for the rest of my life and just sit here staring. If you decide, you know what, I'm going to do something, I'm going to get up there and do something different than what I'm already doing, you will succeed. Anyways, I am 3 Fit Fun. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next sun vlog.